Namaste, soul family, sky goddess, and um, this video is about skincare. Okay, skincare. Um, read the current frequencies and and energies that are abounding. Now, um, because we are trans, we are in the you know second house frequency, Taurus. We are dealing with everything that um, comes with that second house frequency. And that also includes uh, physical appearances, physical beauty, okay? And anything that is tangible or physical. So all of them, you know, um, more uh, intangible houses like the subconscious, uh, or mindsets or thoughts and um, knowledge and you know um, perspectives and perceptions they're all gonna be you know um, manifest in some physical in a physical form in some way or the other um, during this year okay and that also includes um, our beauty okay of course, you know, you know, everything stems from the subconscious and whatever that is in the sub within the subconscious manifests. But also the there are, you know, um, abounding frequencies that we must succumb to and obey, regardless of, of whatever that's within the subconscious. Okay? Because it is justice and justice um it is not um negotiable. It is firm and fixed and our actions, our actions determines, you know, the justice that we receive. So I see a lot of, you know, a lot of people have been, you know, having issues with their skin. Let me say that Capricorn that rules the skin, you know, is the brother, you know, the big brother of Taurus, okay? Um, a lot of people because let me tell you Saturn you know has been you know um, under heavy activity and um, with the end of a cycle you know like I've been telling people that you know a karmic cycle was coming to an end and you know karmic dues are you know um, due okay and we've got the 10th house now in Aries so it's a new cycle Okay, and we know it's a new cycle. It's the second 12-year cycle of that three 12-year cycle, which is a cycle of itself with a purpose, okay, to change. And, you know, these, these three 12-year cycles, they are all about changes. And each of them, they carry with them different frequencies of changes, okay. And this is to, you know, this is a very, you know, beautiful cycle, one that calls us to be nice. And humanitarians okay so um, also you know with the new age a lot of people have been you know getting into the art of magic okay and M-A-G-I-C-K and you know with you know the um, realizing of um, the power of spirit a lot of people have been not just realizing, but also abusing and misusing the power of spirit. And there are ramifications for them stuff, okay? And um, we are in a new, we're starting a new, you know, the skin. There's a new cycle there. And therefore, these changes that are going to occur this year, really your beauty, your physical form, um, these are, these changes, they're going to last for, um, a, a, a cycle, a Saturn cycle, and, you know, it's not going to change until, you know, um, uh, the 10th house changes frequencies, okay? And I'm also hearing from Spirit until Saturn changes frequencies, so Saturn is currently transiting Aquarius, and, you know, it will end its transit 2023, so um, that's a completion there, 2 plus 2 plus 3, that's 7, so that's going to be a completion, okay? Last year began a reset, okay? 2023 is going to be a completion. So the changes that are going to occur to your skin, you know, um, skins rather, 
these are gonna be um, for this whole Saturn cycle. So I'm gonna begin, you know, in you know the usual order with Taurus, the Earth sign. So I'm gonna start with Taurus, okay? And so for Taurus, um, Taurus Sun, okay, as, as well as you know, this can be people who were born in the year of the ox, remember that, okay? So for Taurus Sun, um, year of the ox, okay, we've got Capricorn in the first house, okay, and you know, that, you know, your, your, your skin, okay, so it's an idea, uh, attribute of Taurus because Taurus embodies beauty like I said it's you know that Venusian frequency and so you know Tor Taurus is it's just that frequency when you got a Taurus beauty it is you know that you've got strong and you know intense beautiful well I'm not gonna say intense that's more Aquarius but you've got strong okay um physical attraction and, and you know appeal because it pulls from that Scorpio frequency that deals with sex and sexuality so it's that tangible form of that you know sexuality so it's that beauty that you know makes someone uh, sexually uh, attractive as well as you know a frequency that is attached to it and so these people you know what's really central to them is their skin and that's why they've got the skin, okay, that Capricorn or Capidon frequency in the first house. Okay, so these people, they usually got beautiful baby-like skin, which is to say flawless. That is beauty, okay? <laughs> that is, you know, a standard, that was considered a standard of beauty, having flawless skin. Maybe that too is going to change. Maybe people are not going to be so... Um, concerned about people's flaws because of course like i said that's the new standard of beauty and aquarians they you know though they are perf are perfectionists in a formal sense um these people are very natural like taurus they like natural beauty um and so they don't they don't really change themselves they like rawness and authenticity and um, that is why they are, you know, free to be themselves and they are, you know, so free-spirited because they are loosed from all these concerns that the average human being weighs themselves down with. And that is why, you know, Aquarius, they're so detached because they don't give in. That's a strong difference between them and Virgos. They don't give in to... Um, that perfection is crap they like um imperfections and that is why they are you know so confident because when you are able to uh know that you're imperfect and you're okay with that okay not to a fault uh then you find that you know that makes you so much older courageous and stronger that it regardless of whatever uh your skin type is or complexion or whatever is on it or not on it you feel comfortable in your own skin okay uh so you know the skin was very ideal for taurus okay and with like i said the standard of beauty is being changed okay to aquarius we can see so you know this could make that taurus beauty not all that you know because people aren't playing into that perfectionism again but um, let me see here. So, you know, the, the skin is being affected by, you know, the fourth house being in Libra for Taurus. And that means justice. Okay. And that can also, for some of you, be a balancing out, which is still justice. The balancing out of your skin. And, you know, that doesn't necessarily have to be good or bad. Okay. It can be either okay that is justice like i said um in one of them videos that i posted prior to this one um i think it was in uh, regards to um april's energy um updates 
um, read the 12 signs. Yeah, that's the, the videos prior to this one. Two of them. Part 1 and Part 2. So, um, for Taurus also, you know, that, you know, you know, the skin that also governs, you know, uh, that belongs to the 10th house, like I said earlier. And, um, Taurus, they've got Libra there. Um, so their life lessons surrounds, um, learning to respect authority and, um, not abusing it okay so using justice and not abusing it using it not misusing it and so whatever the verdict is this year re you using or misusing justice that is going to determine the outcome of your skin and i feel like a lot of people are going to be turned inside out like i said earlier uh them intangible more intangible uh, frequencies are going to be made tangible so basically not to say that oh you sit and you think nice things and you just happen to be beautiful or you think of yourself as beautiful and you happen to be beautiful no if you are on a fucked up frequency where you are really nasty to people and um cruel you know then that is going to be made manifested upon your skin. That's what's going to happen. Okay? And if you were really nice, then that beauty is going to be made manifested upon your skin. And I, I think I did advise Taurus because you've got Aquarius in the second house that, listen, so there's going to be a sudden change um, also. That's what it also means to Taurus's appearance and their beauty, their physical form. A sudden change okay there's gonna be a sudden change right here so that could be for good or for bad for some but knowing that Taurus is usually that beautiful essence or frequency who knows um, also the judges there there's gonna be a judge in regards to your physical form and you know your beauty So yeah, I was saying I did advise advise Taurus in a previous video. I think that was probably um, Uranus's transit, and another one probably the year of the ox. Um, I did advise Taurus, you know, that it would be beneficial for them to be a humanitarian this year because, like I said, whatever you value. You, um, you gotta, um, whatever you value, you either gain or lose, depending on how you use or misuse your gifts and abilities, okay? So, with Aquarius in the second house, you know, there can be a, a loss to friends and associates, okay? Suddenly this year, as well as it can also mean, you know, um, you gaining new friends and associates it all depends okay on the reputation the the choices that you made in you know the years um coming up to now uh those are going to dis uh, determine if you lose or you gain and um i did advise that you know the emphasis for you is being placed right now on being a humanitarian okay and then it will be good for you it will be good i did say that so going um i did say that Going on to Virgo, re your, you know, your skin, that 10th house frequency. So we've got that, you know, they're in the 9th house for you, that Capricorn frequency. Okay. So, you know, you've got alchemy skin. Let me say that. That's Sagittarius. Okay. Uh, in Sag, though, in that 9th house, you've got Pisces. Pisces, the healer. And, you know, in, in the 12th house, you've got Gemini change. So we've got healing for your skin, Virgo. That's why we got healing there. Okay. And it is, you know, something as whether it's a skin condition, it has reached its, you know, 
its maximum okay and now it is time for it is for for it to heal okay so it is time for it to heal now with the ninth house being in pisces and you're gonna see the full manifestation once jupiter begins its transit in pisces and that is uh this is that's sometime this year but it's gonna definitely for some it's gonna start you know manifest uh before start manifesting before but you know that's going to be a synchronicity of overlapping frequencies right there so we got jupiter transiting uh beginning its transit in pisces okay so we got in december okay so that's why i said definitely some of you will start to see the changes prior to uh, but I feel like once Jupiter begins its transit in Pisces, that's going to be uh, the frequencies that will seal, seal this uh, healing process for you. Um, and this could also be you receiving some assistance or guidance and, you know, skincare that is going to aid you, you know, in healing your skin. As well as this is, you know, I'm seeing a change to your subconscious is going to trigger this healing. And like I said, a lot of changes this year. Um, I did a, oh, which video was that again? For one of them signs where, uh, in which I said, you know, it was really that person started, you know, that frequency starting to feel good about themselves that would trigger um the healing process and i'm also seeing that for you i'm seeing you know a change of belief okay so you 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 might have you know been um caring for your skin in a different way you might have you know been under a different skin routine or regimen and uh or you know this could have been you know due to some spiritual belief that you had and you know due to a change in this spiritual belief your skin will heal okay so whatever it is that you're using now that is not working you need to go back to the drawing board and um, re strategize reevaluate and um, spirit will guide you because you've got Gemini right there in the 12th house you will receive guidance as to what to do and how to care for your skin some of you might have already received this guidance whether intuitively or physically okay and um, that is why I said some of you will see, you will begin to see uh, these healing, uh, healing frequencies manifest in your skin per, uh, prior to the end of this year, prior to Jupiter's transit in Pisces. So, like I say, you get the guidance, okay, it is there for you, but it is how soon you, you, you are willing to act on the guidance that you will see your outcome okay your results so that's that for you Virgo going on to Capricorn Sun okay so Capricorn Sun yeah that's in your fifth house okay and you know that is being transformed okay you're changing the way how you how you know you present yourself to people and rather suddenly and um This is in a beautiful way, might I add. Because we've got the ego, the fifth house, transforming. And a sudden transformation right here. And this could be, you know, you, you know, having the knowledge. Or, you know, you receiving new knowledge, new information, okay? On, you know, how to care for your skin. Okay, and this could be, you know, someone guiding you again, like Virgo, okay? But this is just, you know, this could be just something coming to you intuitively. Something that, an old remedy probably that you had and that you're gonna, you know, flip back on, okay? But it's, it's, it's not really that I'm seeing where you really had an issue with your, you know, skin. But their your skin nonetheless is going to be transformed suddenly 
okay so for you I'm getting a lighter pigment because you know strongly being impacted by that Aquarius frequency you are one of them people that you know who you know will seemingly experience uh, um, have the experience of having a lighter uh, complexion this year no rather during this factor cycle I should say For Aries Sun, okay, you're Capricorn, that's in your second house. You value your skin. How is this? <laughs> okay. So, Aries Sun, okay, that's also the rat frequency. So, I went through um, the ox, that's Taurus, the snake, that's Virgo, the rooster, that's Capricorn. Now, I'm at the rat. That's Aries. Okay, so Aries Sun, also Pisces Moon, okay, Sag Rising. So you you guys you value your skin. But let me see what's gonna happen, okay? Because this value is being changed as well as your skin. And you know, when your values change, okay, the thing that you valued also will change, okay? So, you know, you guys seem to, you know, have had beautiful skin or seem to have beautiful skin. Naturally, I, I am seeing. Okay, so your beauty is in your skin. Okay. But, you know, that is being transformed. Okay, that is being transformed suddenly. Or that is going to be transformed suddenly. And there is justice for this uh, transformation. Justice is leading. Justice is ahead and in charge of this transformation. Because justice, that's in the fourth house. In the fourth house. That's, you know, um, the inverse of Capricorn that rules the skin. So there's emphasis there. But the energy that is ruling and overseeing that... Um, Transition is justice. So, therefore, basically, the seeds that you've sown, okay, are going to determine your end result. Okay? So, for Aries, Sun, Sag Rising, Pisces, Moon, okay? The value on your skin is also being changed. So, okay, so whatever skin complexion, tone, or type that you've got, that is being changed. So justice for you guys, I, I, whatever you've done in, you know, the prayer, you know, Saturn cycle because Saturn the 10th house is in Aries whatever you've done per okay prior to 2020 especially but 20 2020 yeah 2020 began a new Saturn cycle but don't don't be mistaken you know Everything, even up until now, is going to be included in that judgment. Because however long it takes for us to get our justice, you know, amplifies that justice, whether in a good or bad way. Okay, I spoke about that in regards to the Jupiter. Okay, so justice, justice is ahead of you right here. Aries. Justice. 
So the emotions that you've exuded, you know, in the prior Saturn cycle, that's going to be your fate, fate, okay? For Leo Sun, we've got, um, I'm seeing the same for you as, uh, as I saw for Aries. So everybody's getting new skin uh, this year. It's been rolling in from last year, but the physicality will manifest this year. Okay, so new skin for you to uh, Leo. Okay, justice is ahead of you as well. So I feel like an opposite for Aries um, frequency. I did say that in the, you know, changing the beauty standards video. Okay, so it's like a reverse for some of the people because like I said, there was this like great affliction. People, you know, human beings, when they want to, you know, afflict you, most they tend to afflict your physical forms. And because we were coming out of that frequency of being so vain. So automatically when someone wants to hurt you or to discredit you or to belittle you or to devalue you they usually attack your physical appearance that is not the case right now knowledge is what is you know in okay that kind of beauty and everything else that comes with it and yes it does also have a form okay but you know for all them afflictions however you've afflicted someone or you've been afflicting someone where their physical form is concerned you can get justice for that okay aries and leo going on to sag okay so if someone tried to steal your beauty you're gonna get that seven folds okay yeah that's seven times seven folds more okay if you try to afflict someone, you're going to lose that seven times seven folds because seven is the completion. Seven, seven is a cycle. And like I said, this is going to last for, you know, a cycle. So it could be a cycle of seven years or it could just be up until Saturn changes frequencies in 2023. We'll see. So moving on to Sagittarius Sun, your skin, okay? You think about your skin. A lot and you if you even got a regime a routine that you do a skincare regime a skincare routine okay that is how much you value your skin you and Aries there's such strong value on your skin and also even Leo because them my lovers you know they you know this is also something that they use to their advantage okay so they they their skin for them is their reputation your skin for you Aries is your is, is, is what you value Sag this is what you think about so you are a bit obsessive I would say where your skin is concerned let's see the fate of that Quite a very obsessive frequency, this this uh, cycle, Sagittarius, where your skin is concerned. You know, maybe this could be, you know, skin issues for some. So your skin for this cycle is going to transition okay and this transition might last until let me see I'm following spirits guidance 2028 
Maybe that's how long all these changes can last. But for you, Sagittarius, you're a form of alchemist. You more than any other frequency I'm seeing here. Um, where in which, whatever that is in your thoughts, if you've got nasty thoughts, that's going to be made manifested upon your skin. Let me tell you that. Mm hmm And there's also justice there with that Aries frequency. Okay, Aries, you know, is in that Cancer frequency, the fourth house frequency, which is also in Libra. So a beautiful synchronicity there. Yeah, you usually, you usually have beautiful skin. That's your frequency. But justice is in charge of that right now, okay? Justice, there's a, there's a new beginning. There's going to be a new beginning. And um, that new beginning is going to be led by justice. And, you know, I <laughs> actually said that before um, coming across Sagittarius. Is, um, justice. The fact, you know, for some of you, if you have evil nasty thoughts if you have a tendency of thinking nasty or bad about people let me tell you it's going to be made manifested upon your skin it's not about you thinking that oh your skin is beautiful and it's going to be beautiful no it's about what you think about others that will uh determine the end result of uh that skin like i say you know your spirit your physical body is you know it represents your spiritual body okay what's within is also without and we're going to see that so evidently um in this cycle this second 12 year okay as well as that third 12 year we're going to see that evident so people who you know are ugly demons inside you're all going to start looking like the ugly demon that is within you i'm telling you so moving on to cancer, it's a very spiritual age, but physical as well. You know how it's physical? Because remember I told you, Taurus is that physical system, which is Pisces. So Taurus forms that physical form of your subconscious. So if you are nasty subconsciously, that is going to be made manifested. If you're beautiful subconsciously, that too will be made manifested regardless of how you looked prior to these you know frequencies that are rushing in and these frequencies are rushing in let me tell you that i've been warning people you know so for cancer sun your capricorn your capricorn frequencies and you know the 11th house okay you know skincare okay And right now, value is being placed upon what we know. So I feel like Capricorn, no, Cancer, Cancer, Sun, um, Pisces rising, uh, Moon and Gemini. I feel like you're going to be making some dough this, you know, this cycle, okay? Or doing, you know, these uh, bounding energies, okay? You're going to be making some money, money. Because you know the skin. You know about the skin. And so, a lot of people, you know, who are going to be experiencing, you know, skin issues, problems concerning their skins, they're going to be needing guidance. Like I, uh, I said that for, I think, Capricorn. Yes. Okay, Capricorn Sun, Virgo Rising, Moon in Sag. Okay, 
and I also said that for Virgo. Though I feel like Virgo is going to be led by spirit, they're the hermit, and therefore uh, they're surrounded by spiritual beings. And, you know, usually they are led by spiritual uh, beings. So I feel like Virgo, they're going to be led to this healing, okay? Uh, Capricorn, they want to know, though, Cancer. And, you know, that's a big brother frequency to you or a big papa frequency, big brother, let me say, because that's your inverse, that's your opposite, okay? And, um... You know, randomly getting some healing for some Leos, okay? I got, you know, that this month is going to be emotional for Leos, you know? Uh, but, you know, you've got different types of emotions. And I feel like Leos, some of you are going to be receiving justice. This could also be in skincare, as well as a family situation and, you know, some... Um, Hateration that you've been experiencing, you're gonna be in a healing mode this month. You're gonna be be resting, calm, and you're gonna be receiving, you know, healing. Okay, that is for some Leos, but you know, like I said, car uh, karma, okay, is in charge of you know, Aries, Leo, and Sag. Let me just say that for the fire signs, as well as Taurus. But I feel like Virgo and Capricorn are gonna be led. They'll be guide, uh, guided towards whatever it is they need to discover or find out where, you know, them, you know, issues are going to be concerned. Or issues are concerned. Um, I'm at Cancer. Sun, Pisces rising. Moon in Gemini, okay? So, you know about the skin, okay? And I feel like you're going to be guiding people where that is concerned. Yeah, you, you are going to be giving people uh, advice, guidance, okay? Treatment, okay, in regards to healing their skins, okay? Also, a very desirable time for you. Desirous time for you. Uh, rather, you're going to be in high demand because that new uh, standard of beauty, that's in your 11th house, okay? And that's where your skin's at, okay? So, you're going to be looking really ravishing and, you know, radiant and beautiful this cycle. Also, you're going to be guiding people and teaching them and, you know, treating them. You know where their you know skin is concerned okay moving on to scorpio i've got um this could be you know some of you you know scorpios are gifted with beautiful skin okay yeah But, you know, for, you know, for, you know, <laughs> the emphasis for you, Scorpio, I'm seeing that more than, you know, all the previous signs I've mentioned. The emphasis for you is about your skin. You're going to be identified, you know, called out for, your, you know, your or where your skin is concerned. This could be in a good sense or good way or this could be in a bad way. But your public image is strongly, strongly, you know, going to be affected by your skin. Okay, that's Scorpio Sun, Moon in Libra, Cancer Rising.
a lot of people are gonna, you know, receive afflictions to their skins as well. Because, like I said, there was this nasty, evil energy that was abounding where a lot of people were afflicting people's physical appearances and forms, and that's gonna ricochet. Because, you know, the world is a cycle, and whatever you put out eventually comes back at you. So justice also for you, uh, Scorpio, okay? So a lot of you, your skin is going to transform. You normally have beautiful skin. Like I said, there's going to be a reversal. It's kind of quite easy to tell the ones who are going to have trouble with their skin. Uh, just don't, <laughs> I guess I just don't want to be too blatant and too um, seemingly pessimistic or like a hater, but... If you normally got good skin, beautiful skin, and that's going to be transformed, okay? That's going to change. There's only good or bad. And if it's not good, it's going to be bad, okay? Of course, you can get better, okay? But I did not see that. I saw good or bad. So whilst if it was at the Leo end of the spectrum, it's going to be at the Aquarius end of the spectrum. And if it was at the Aquarius end of the spectrum, it's going to be at Leo. It's just a reversal, okay? And that's why it's good to treat people as how we want them to treat us because, you know, the shoe can always be on the other foot. And I, you know, I used to have a lot of trouble where my skin is concerned and acne, okay? And um, a lot of people ostracized me, outcast me. Um, even told lies on me that I had certain diseases and so on and so forth. Um, they were just really jealous and, um, they wanted to justify their iteration and, you know, wanted to, uh, sabotage my reputation. And so they, you know, they couldn't find anything else. And so they used what was, um, a flaw to me. Okay, um, acne. Now the, the roles are going to be reversed, okay? And a lot of people are going to feel how it feels to have acne. And, you know, um, people ostracizing you and outcasting you. Okay? Hopefully those of us who, you know, who have felt it and knows it. And you don't have to feel something to know how, know that, you know, it's not nice to tease someone, you know? You just have to be, you know, empathetic and, you know, caring and a decent being okay so i hope those of us who have been there won't you know take the initiative to you know mock or ostracize these people because um that's really childish it makes no sense and it's not gonna profit anybody anything okay let's just move on and just appreciate the experiences for what they are okay we're, we all have different skin types and our natal charts as well as our ethnicity and the location, geographical locations that we live in. They do affect us, you know, and in certain regions, you're prone to acne because based on your skin type, you know, your skin might be too sensitive for that particular climate. Okay, so this isn't something to mock or jeer anyone over. It's just really childish and silly and makes no fucking sense. So, moving on to Pisces, Sun, Aquarius, Moon, Scorpio, Rising. Let me see where your skin's at, okay? You love to talk about your skin. <laughs> you love to talk about your skin, okay? Talking about skin, okay? So, you know, some of you could be talking about skin care, okay, about healing um, the skin. Some of you could actually be um, guiding people, okay, sharing with people what you know, okay, where the skin is concerned, where healing 
is concerned. Healing the skin is concerned, as well as other codependencies and toxic traits, okay? So, you know, for you, this, you know, Saturn cycle, you're going to be sharing what you know about skincare. Some of you, it's not about you sharing what you know. It's some of you, you know, talking about a transition of your skin. Some of you could have been, you know, experiencing, um, skin issues and you know you're going to be seeking healing transformation where that is concerned and you're going to be also talking about this you could be talking about this to yourself reasoning with yourself find you know trying to guide yourself as to how best to heal yourself this is also you engaging in you know skincare routine okay doing a lot of um skincare regimens okay so that's what i see for pisces um and you know So a lot of you are going to believe in change strongly if you did not believe in change uh, already. I feel like a lot of you do feel, you do feel this change coming in, okay? You do feel this transition of your skin. Some of you, you know, might already start feeling beautiful, okay? But, you know, there's going to be for some of you a sudden change to, um, your beauty and your skin is in charge of that okay how are you going to be perceived <laughs> so aquarius moon pisces sun scorpio rising yeah some of you gonna be seeing healing it to your skin some of you this is just a change, which this can be healing as well as this can be karmic justice in the form of irritated, damaged skin. And then we've got, going on to the air signs now, Gemini Sun, Taurus Moon, Aquarius Rising, okay? The skin, the skin that's in your belief system, okay? So you believe in the skin. So, uh, you also value what you believe. So, you, you, you value your skin as well. Let me just say that. Gemini, Sun, Taurus, Moon, Aquarius, Rising. Let's see what's going to happen here. Okay. So, we see that belief. That's going to change. Okay, that strong value or belief that you've got in your skin. That's going to change. Because you're going to see a transition in your skin. Okay, this could be a bad. You know, these readings, I'm not going to do like other readers and try to pacify the whole collective, you know. How else are you going to learn and ascend? So, you know, I'm just going to say what I see. There's no healing for some people. Like I said, like I shared um, with you, you know, guys, about my issues with, you know, acne and my skin and so on and so forth. Um, my, you know, skin my face rather it's really my face not my skin i've got perfect skin and i've got perfect skin on my face too the issue though is that you know my glands they secrete a lot of oil okay and that has nothing to do with the amount of grease that i consume because i really don't consume that much grease okay um 
it's really got to do with your natal chart more than anything else is and second to that uh, your physical uh, makeup what's going on in the body and astrology does you know control that and is in charge of that as well as you know your geographical location right that too has a lot to do with that but um hold on let me take you off The oils, though, when, you know, the oils, they help to make a more youthful uh, skin. That's why it's very good to moisturize your skin. So even though they, you know, cause, you know, acne, regardless, regardless of the acne, you know, they, you know, prevent wrinkles, okay, because they make for a smoother face. Okay, one that is not dried out without moisture. And when your skin lacks moisture, then it cracks and, you know, form lines. And then you've got wrinkles, okay? So this could be me teaching someone something that's going to help them. I don't know. Okay, so there's a pro and con to um, the skin secreting a lot of oil, okay? Um, it does make you way, way more youthful, okay? It's only to just find a way to, you know, um, keep that grease under control, that oil that is secreted under control, so that they don't form cysts and uh, pimples or even blackheads or whiteheads, whatever kinds of acne you've got. Um... <clears throat> But well, my skin is healing. I, I feel that. I feel I feel my skin is healing wonderfully. So Gemini Sun, you can be talking a lot about your skin. You could be talking about your skin to um This could be to your spouse, or this could be to a Virgo, or this could be to, you know, a father figure, okay? But, you know, whatever that's going to trans transpire with your skin uh, this year, or, you know, that has, you know, begun to transpire, that's going to last for a Saturn cycle. Moving on to Libra, okay? Libra Sun, where's your skin's at? Oh, your skin's what's uh, what makes you desirable. But there's going to be a sudden transformation where that is concerned. So I feel like Libra, your skin is getting darker. Okay, it's going to be afflicted by the sun. That's the Libra Sun, Gemini Rising, Moon in um, Virgo. Yeah. So I would say that you had, you know, desirable skin or beautiful skin because Scorpios, they're known to have beautiful skin. Their stew is going to be transformed. So you've been impacted by them. There's going to be a sudden transformation also there for you. Okay. For you and them, Libra and Scorpio, okay? I see, like I said, some people will be having, will be getting darker uh, where their skin complexion is concerned. Libra sun and Scorpio sun is one, okay? Okay, so moving on to Aquarius sun. 
uh, Aquarius Sun, Libra Rising, Capricorn Moon. So you are gonna feel, you know, justice where it, where your skin is concerned this year, this this cycle rather. And you know, justice, you know, you know, the skin is gonna be a focus this cycle. I'm seeing that, and you know, it is, it is, you know, um, a lot of talk about that publicly. Okay, so you know this could be a lot of teachings on skin care, but it's gonna be a prime focus. You're gonna receive justice where that is concerned. Um, and this is the beginning of a cycle. Like I said, for everyone, whatever the verdict is, this is gonna last a whole cycle, okay? So justice is leading for you, okay? Karmic justice for you. Uh, Aquarius Sun, Libra Rising, Capricorn Moon, okay? Karmic justice for you where your skin is concerned. And like I said, I think I said for um, Aries, Leo, Sag, and I said that for Taurus as well. So the, these five main signs, okay? How you treat people and the thoughts that you have towards people, okay? That's going to be made manifested upon your skin. So the feelings that you got for people and the thoughts, that's uh, cancer frequency, liver frequency, uh, that's going to be made manifested uh, upon your skin, good or bad. So you must know, uh, well, like I said, you know, the fate's already been sealed and justice is here. And we're going to start seeing the full manifestation of that this month, the fourth month, where the fourth house energies are abounding, and the fourth house is, you know, in Libra. Okay, where is Libra? It's in the skin. Okay, so a lot of emphasis there. That's what I got for you guys. I just felt compelled this morning to do this uh, reading or analysis, rather, of skincare because... You know, as you guys realize, there's going to be emphasis right there on the skin. And this month, even more, because Venus, okay, the, you know, that frequency of beauty is going to, you know, be transiting Taurus, okay? Let me see when that's going to be again. That's April, I think, 19. Uh, no, April 14. That's April 14, okay? And everything's going to be synchronized then because 2, 2, 2 p.m. That's when Venus will begin um, her transit in her own frequency, the physical form of her frequency, Taurus. Namaste, guys. Thank you guys for listening. See you next time.